today we are going to discuss about instrument transformers and uh, this is the part 2 uh, we are basically focusing on potential transformer in this lecture now the question ar arises basically what is an instrument transformer uh, well basically it's a transformer that is used in conjunction with any measuring instrument that could be ammeter, voltmeter or any protective equipment. The most common usage of instrument transformers is to operate instruments or metering from high voltage or high current circuits, safely isolating secondary control circuitry from the high voltages or currents. It also utilizes the current transformation and voltage transformation properties to measure high AC current and voltages. Now we are going to discuss about the types of instrument transformers. Uh, well the instrument transformers are basically categorized into two types. Uh, one is current transformer and the other one is potential transformers. A CT is a current transformer and uh, the PT is a potential transformer or you can say the voltage transformer. Uh, the standard transformers uh, like distribution transformer or power transformers do not have CTs and PTs. Uh, CT alone are used at commercial and industrial level uh, who consume large amount of electricity and for this the current is a step down so the meter can read it. Uh, for example, uh, a turn ratio is basically about, for example, a 200 is to 5 or 40 is to 1 ratio. That means if uh, the real load uh, is 40 amperes, so it converted into 1 ampere or 5 ampere. So whatever the meter reads, uh, you would multiply it with uh, the multiplying factor. CTs and PTs are used in primary metering configuration. Most meters cannot withstand high voltages and currents. So the configuration is used to bring the voltage and current down to a level the meter can read. As we discussed in the last slides, uh, what, are, what are the major tasks of uh, instrument transformers? So if we talk about first three major tasks of an instrument transformers. Uh, the first task is basically to transform current or voltages from usually a high value to a value easy to handle for relays and instruments. As we know, uh, for example, if we have a distribution setup of uh, 400 amperes, so we cannot design relay of 400 amperes because it is almost impossible uh, to design such a large relays and also it is not cost effective. Secondly, uh, to insulate the relays, metering and instruments from primary high voltage systems. Along with that, the third one is to provide the possibilities of standardizing the relays and instruments to a few rated current and voltages. As we know that uh, if we talk about standards like uh, American national standards, there are some standards uh, set for the relays, uh, like relays have to operate in uh, 12 volt for electronic systems or if we talk about uh, power systems, so it may be 110 or if we talk about CTs, it may be from 5 ampere or 1 ampere. If we talk about application of instrument transformer, there are several uh, applications of uh, instrument transformers. Uh, instrument transformers are used in AC systems for measurement of electrical quantities that may be voltage, current, power, energy, power factor, frequency, or many other factors. Instrument transformers are also used with the protective relays for the protection of the power system. Basic function of the instrument transformers is to step down the AC system voltages and currents. 
for specially constructed high voltage instrument transformers to insulate the high voltage circuits from measuring the circuit in order to protect the measuring instrument from burning uh, students um, i can also say that uh, instrument transformers play a core role uh, in any industries or uh, grid stations potential transformer uh, basically potential transformer is a voltage step down transformer uh, which reduces the voltage of high voltage circuit to a lower level for the purpose of measurement these are connected across or parallel to the line which is to be monitored uh, the basic principle of operation and construction of this transformer is similar to the standard power transformer in common uh, the potential transformers are abbreviated as pt and as we say earlier in our previous lecture also it is only used for measuring purposes the primary winding uh, consists of large number of turns which is connected across the high voltage side or the line in which measurement have to be taken well the secondary winding has lesser number of turns which is connected to the voltmeter or uh, potential coils of wattmeter or you can say the energy meters relay or any other device you want to control these can be single phase three phase uh, potential transformer irrespective um, of primary voltage rating these are designed to have the secondary output voltage of 110 volts there are basically two types of potential transformer used for the protection equipment uh, number one is electromagnetic type uh, that is commonly referred to as vt and the second one is capacitor voltage transformer type uh, that is basically referred as cvt in next slide uh, we will see that how these both transformer types differ from each other in the last slide uh, we talk about the type of potential transformer uh, there are two basic types uh, one is electromagnetic type and another is capacitor type on the left hand side you can see the electromagnetic type uh, that is just normal as you see in power transformer or any distribution transformer the electromagnetic type basically is a step down transformer whose uh, primary and secondary winding uh, are connected as uh, shown in the figure well uh, the number of turns in a winding is directly proportional to the open circuit voltage being measured across it uh, as you can see in the diagram this is basically a single phase uh, potential transformer uh, same as in the three phase system uh, it is necessary uh, to use three VTs uh, voltage transformer uh, at one per phase and uh, they being connected in a star or delta depending on the method of connection of the main power source being monitored well the important thing uh, about this electromagnetic transformer that uh, it can uh, measure uh, the voltages uh, up to uh, 33 kV or you can uh, might say that uh, it will uh, it will feasible uh, up to 33 kV the second type is capacitor voltage transformer that is CVT as the name suggests uh, that the important item uh, in this category is capacitor and this uh, CVT uh, is used uh, above the 33 kV uh, the basic uh, theme for using this uh, it reduces the size of uh, PT uh, as like uh, electromagnetic uh, one uh, 
because the cost become also high due to winding uh, therefore uh, it is common to adopt the second type uh, whenever uh, you are working on voltages greater than 33 kV uh, uh, as you can uh, see in the figure uh, there are three capacitors connected uh, the uh, capacitive potential transformer divider is formed between these capacitors uh, you can say capacitive potential divider connected between the phase of the main line and ground uh, these can be coupling capacitor uh, these two uh, types are electrically less or more similar but the difference is that the formation of the capacitance which further decide their rated burden uh, as um, a coupling capacitor type consists of a stack of series connected capacitors which are made up of oil impregnated paper and aluminium foil for desired primary and secondary voltages uh, primary and secondary terminals are connected across the capacitors uh, well uh, there is one more thing that this is uh, basically a virtually capacitance voltage divider uh, with a tuning inductance and an auxiliary uh, transformer which is uh, clearly uh, shown in the figure as you can see the primary portion consists of capacitors connected in series to split the primary voltage to the convenient values or you can say the desired voltages as we discussed uh, in the last slide, slides about the uh, types of potential transformer in this slide we discuss about the internal view of electromagnetic PT as you can see uh, the electromagnetic PT uh, is basically in as same as the construction we discussed about the power transformer or distribution transformer uh, they both have primary winding secondary winding and uh, like inner coil outer coil there's insulation between them uh, there are core present in it but the slight difference is that uh, it is encapsulated in a porcelain or a ceramic bushing uh, that protects it from uh, hazard and other external conditions this is internal view of uh, capacitor uh, voltage transformer as you can see on the left side uh, there is a practical capacitor voltage transformer as you can see uh, in grill stations uh, the first part is the outer bushing and that is made up of porcelain or ceramic secondly you can see the C1 that is capacitor 1 and on the bottom you can see there is a C2 that is a capacitor 2 the working and the why these capacitors are install, installed we, are, we have discussed in our uh, previous slide uh, as you can see uh, there is mentioned T that is basically a medium voltage transformer and uh, uh, L shows the compensation reactor and the same case uh, basically D is the damping resistance that controls the voltage levels this is basically the grid station view of a potential transformer as we mentioned earlier in our previous lecture also uh, that students basically confuse about that how these uh, CTs and PTs uh, look like in the grid station because they are encapsulated in bushings as you can see uh, yellow circle uh, this is basically a CVT as you can see it is basically uh, divided into the three parts and the, all the internal working as we discuss in our previous slide
connection of voltage transformer as uh, we can see the connection of these voltage transformers are very important electromagnetic voltage transformers may be connected phase to phase or between phase and earth however uh, the capacitor voltage transformer can only be connected in phase to earth voltage transformer are commonly used in three phase groups generally in a star to star configuration uh, as you can see uh, the connections are mentioned in the figure with this arrangement uh, the secondary voltages provide a complete replica of the primary voltages uh, as shown and any voltage which can be phase to phase or phase to earth may be selected for monitoring at the secondary side residual connection well under three phase balance condition the three uh, voltages sums to zero if one voltage is absent or reduced because of an earth fault on that phase then the difference between the normal voltage and that voltage is delivered to relay it is common to detect the earth faults in a three phase system using displacement that occurs in the neutral voltage when the earth faults take place the resi the residual voltage uh, for earth fault relay can be obtained from a potential transformer between neutral and earth for instance uh, at a power transformer neutral it can also be obtained from a three phase set of vts which have their primary winding connected phase to earth and one of the secondary winding connected in a broken delta as you can see in the figure uh, the measuring principle for broken delta connecting uh, during an earth fault in a high impedance earth and an effectively earth power system respectively the rated voltage factors of the pds well the rated voltage factors of the potential transformer is the maximum limit of x voltage up to which the potential transformer can maintain its related characteristics it is mentioned in the percentage of the nominal voltage for instance a rated voltage factor of 1.2 would mean that potential transformer can maintain its rated characteristics up to 120% of the nominal voltage in the table there are different rated voltage factors are given along with rated time and their primary winding connections well the accuracy class in a voltage transformer is defined as the one uh, if the voltage is guaranteed between 80% and 120% of the primary rated potential difference and for any type of the load between 25% and 100% of the accurate rated power with a power factor having an inductive value of 0.8 the standard value of IEC accuracy classes lies between 0.1 to 3 uh according to iec 60044 for protection purposes both the electromagnetic and capacitor type vts are required to maintain that specific accuracy limits uh you can see in the slides uh for metering purposes uh there are different classes uh, like we mentioned earlier that class 0.1 class 0.2 class 0.5 class 1 and class 3 well the types of high voltage cts separately mounted post type cts uh, suitable for outdoor services are frequently required uh, there are three basic forms on the basics uh, on the basis of uh, construction like type a in type a as you can see in the figure the core and the secondary winding are obtained in an earth tank at the base of the porcelain insulator and the leads of the full insulated primary windings are taken up to the top helmet through the porcelain insulator 
In type B transformer, as you can see in the figure, the cores and the windings are mounted midway inside the porcelain housing, usually with half the major insulation on the primary winding and the other half on the secondary windings and the cores. Uh, well, this form of construction uh, is limited to volume of cores and windings which can be accommodated without the diameter of the porcelain insulator uh, becoming uneconomically large. In type C, as you can see in the figure, the cores and secondary windings are housed in the helmet or live tank and the earth secondary leads brought down the insulator. This form of construction is particularly suitable for use when the high primary currents are involved as it permits the use of a short bar primary conductor. Well, there is a specific question uh, that arises in mind. Why HV windings of a transformer are outside the LV windings? You can uh, say HV is the high voltage windings and the LV is low voltage winding. Well, uh, there are two major reasons. Uh, as you can say, the transformer HV and LV windings are concentric to minimize flux leakage. Uh, HV windings are on the outer side due to the two following reasons. Number one is uh, easy to insulate high voltage uh, from the transformer core and the second one is easy to take out transformer taps. Uh, transformer taps are on the high voltage windings uh, due to the low current and the large number of turns for fine variation of the voltage. Uh, because uh, uh, there is one more aspect about that uh, as the current increases, uh, the amount of uh, uh, the items you are using like circuit breakers, relays, their size also increases, which ultimately uh, increase the cost. There are some typical specifications uh, that are mentioned on the uh, nameplate of a PT. Uh, like system voltage bill uh, that is basic insulation level as you can say there's three levels 12 28 and 75 ratio of course and class as we discussed in our last lecture uh, along with that uh, you can say Vernon ratings accuracy class voltage factors vector groups number of phases uh, this all information are mentioned on the plate or data sheet. Uh, before installing, uh, you can refer to these parameters uh, for some reasonable selection of your uh, potential transformer. Errors in voltage transformer. Uh, well, you can see on the left hand side, there is a phasor diagram for voltage transformer at lagging power factor. Uh, you can see the I naught is donated as no load current. I M is for magnetizing component of no load current, and I U is the wattful component of no load current. E S and E P like uh, secondary and primary. Uh, this is induced voltage in secondary and primary windings, and the N P and N S you can say the secondary and primary windings. I P and I S just like primary and secondary currents, and uh, RP and RS resistances of primary and secondary windings and like uh, XP and X, uh, S is basically reactance of primary and secondary windings while beta is the phase angle error. Uh, like for an ideal voltage transformer the voltage produced in the secondary winding is an exact proportion to the primary voltage and are exactly in phase opposition. But in actual PTs, this is not so because of the presence of the voltage drop in the primary and secondary resistance and also due to the power factor of the burden on the secondary. This causes two occurrence of the ratio uh, and the phase angle errors in the voltage transformers. 
uh, the primary induced voltage is derived by subtracting the primary resistive and reactive drop from the primary voltage VP and also the secondary terminal voltage that is Vs that is derived by subtracting secondary windings resistance drop and the reactance drop vectorically uh, from the secondary induced EMF. Due to these drops, uh, a nominal ratio of the potential transformer is not equal to the actual ratio of the PT, hence um, induces a ratio error. Ratio error. The ratio error of the potential transformer is defined as the variation in actual ratio of the transformation from the normal ratio. The percentage ratio error is defined as uh, Kn minus R over R into 100, where Kn is the nominal uh, or rated transformation ratio. As we discuss error, there is one more, the phase angle error. Well, in an ideal PT, uh, there should not exist any phase angle between the primary and reverse secondary voltage. Uh, but in practice, there exists a phase difference between uh, Vp and Vs or uh, uh, as you can see in the previous figure, uh, thereby uh, introduces phase angle error. It is defined as the phase difference between primary and uh, reverse secondary voltage. Uh, well, uh, if you want to reduce uh, these errors such that accuracy is improved by designing the transformer uh, in such a way that uh, their windings have appropriate magnitudes of the internal resistance and reactances. In addition to this, the core should require minimum magnetizing uh, and core loss component of the exciting current. As some of the applications um, of instrument transformers we have uh, discussed in our previous slides, but uh, uh, going into the more details, uh, some of the more applications are just like electrical metering systems, electrical protection systems, uh, distance protecting protections of the feeders, transmission lines, uh, along with that synchronization generators with grid and uh, like impedance protection of the generators. Well, uh, that's all from the instrument transformer section part 2. Uh, that is potential transformer if you have any question you can ask uh, thank you very much